Hey, what's going on guys? It's Teko Sword and in this video we're going to try out something pretty different than the usual like the Euro GRI, the Legion Go, laptops, stuff like this all the technical stuff that we usually do on the channel uh, in this video instead we're going to check out this Herman Miller Ventom chair that I got about three days ago and I want to give out my um, experience so you can learn more about this chair if you are thinking to get it uh, keep in mind that this is an ergonomic chair, it's not a racing gaming chair, so it's, it should have more um, ergonomic features than the usual gaming ones. And I basically come from um, a Secret Lab Titan uh, 2022 chair um, that I got about three, three years ago, back when it was first released, and um, I just hated it totally. I chose the small size back then because I am 164 centimeter in height or 5.4 in foot. As a not very tall person, I opted for the small one. Instead, this uh, doesn't have any um, sizes. So instead it come in a universal size. And uh, if you are a taller person, you, you will surely have a different experience. You can see that it's, it's quite good and it's very uh, durable. Yeah, so build quality is totally good. And the seat itself is fabric and it's quite hard so as you can see it's quite hard as well as the back seat um it has uh, this fabric and it has a uh, like as you can see it's, there is uh, some ventilation for air now uh, we talked about the durability of the chair and the uh, build quality is okay i chose this color the aqua one the new one um came out with a second version Keep in mind that this chair um, has a first version that debuted about one year ago and the second version uh, that came out about uh, two weeks ago, I guess, from the date of this video. So I was just in luck that they released a newer version. I was just considering a new chair and I heard they, they made a new refresh of their Ventum chairs with new colors such as this one before it came out with red, white and black and now they added this uh, Aqua Blue One. Let's talk about the features of the chair now. Okay, so first of all, it has tilt adjustment on the left side and on, on the right side, you have a tilt tension. And they are numbered, so uh, the levels are numbered. Basically, you will know which number you are on. You can turn them clockwise and anti-clockwise. So now I have them both on one. So both of them are on one and it's quite rich. You cannot tilt back and it's quite hard to, to say the least. And if I put it to level two, if I lean back, you will see there is some um, leaning back. Third, fourth, as you can see, it's getting more on five. And this is the sixth level and this is the last one. So as you can see, as soon as you uh, stop pushing it, like it's not really that hard, but as soon as you start to pushing it, it will just pull you out of the chair. So in this way, it will be easy to sit out of the chair, stand up, quite easy. Now there is also the tail tension. Uh, first of all, I recommend that when you adjust those handles, that, is that you are not do them while leaning back this way, you will not break the mechanism. Instead, just lean forward and adjust them. So this is the first uh, tail tension. There is no tension basically. There is really little force when I go back. Second, as you can see, there is a bit of force now. Three much more force four five six as you can see it's much harder to lean back now and the last level seven it's really hard now like i really need to use all my back muscles in order to lean back as you can see and i cannot even tell to the maximum adjustments which i've said before so i usually keep it on so I usually keep it on level one in the tilt um, tension. And in here I keep it around 
three. This way I can just lean back and have a good movement. As you can see, like this chair is phenomenal when having all range of movement. There is really nothing hindering the shoulders. And uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's totally a good, um, good thing. And uh, the second thing I want to talk about is this chair that you can move on the seat. You can move on the seat forward and backward. If I just rotate it, there is this handle. As you can see, there is this handle. And if in order to move the seat forward and backward, just use this handle and hold it from this position. And as you can see, So now there is like a gap, while if you put it in the back, there is almost virtually zero gap in the back. Now it depends on how comfortable you feel with. I usually just prefer to put it forward to the maximum because I do not need this gap. And this way I'd have support in this area. Let's talk about now the arm set. So as you can see, they can go forward, backward, left and right and you don't need to press any kind of button for them to move they just move as soon as you force them now the bad side of this is that maybe sometimes you are sitting and you do not want to move them yet they do like this or maybe you are sitting like this and they move suddenly so sometimes it may get annoying i usually don't really mind them but some people may do or sometimes i even may do depending on what if I'm focused on something and they, I just feel that they start to move. So maybe it's not a good thing always. Now we can also adjust the uh, height of them. So like this. Now we cannot tilt them in this position. We cannot tilt them at all. So they move in a, a 3D arm set, not 4D, not in this way. Now we talked about the arm set. Uh, we talked about the back seat, the material is okay, it's quite hard. Now let's talk about the lumbar support. So the lumbar support, let's get it back in, in here so you guys can see it, hopefully. So the lumbar support, there is this rotating mechanism, this way, to rotating wheels. You can move it in this way and you will have zero support for the lumbar. Basically, you cannot, like... The first point is this one. Now there is a bit of more um, support. The second one is like this. As you can see now it's harder. And the third one is like this. The maximum one, the ultimate level. So now there is more support and it's pushing harder. I usually prefer this position more. So basically you have three levels because this is the default one without any support. First level, second level, and the third level, as you can see. And you can also adjust it while sitting like this. Now this is without support. First, second, and third. As you can see, it's quite easy. And I prefer the third one depending it comes down to your preference. And uh, what else we did not talk about? Okay, the headrest. So since I'm not a tall person, I had to remove the headrest for a reason. Now this is updated uh, headrest. In case you had a first version, you may have a different mechanism because in this version, they uh, focused on improving the headrest uh, because it was just hard for people to adjust. As you can see, it's quite easy to move yet it's still keeping in position so let's try it out let's put it so there is this hole as you can see now it's locked in so that's it now as you can see it can go out the the lowest position and the maximum one like this like almost a hand size like this you can also adjust the tilt but you cannot tilt it in this way, just up and down and the height adjustability. So 2D, 
to the adjustment on here. Now the downside as a person was not told, as you can see, it's supposed to be hitting this part of the neck. Instead, in my case, it's hitting my head. So it's really not that comfortable. Like as time goes on, it starts to hit this part and you will just feel annoyed by it. And especially that it's not a pillow, it's hard plastic. So it's making it hard to, it's hitting my head in this part. So it's really not that comfortable, guys. And I tried a lot with it. Now the good thing is that you can adjust it easily while sitting. As you can see, I had no issues with it. It's quite easy to adjust. However, due to the things that I told you now, that I'm not a tall person, so it's just not hitting the right position. But if you are a tall person, you will have zero issues with it. And um, yeah, so that's the height adjustability of the headrest. Now, I had to remove the headrest for that reason. And to remove it, it's quite easy. You just need this key, anything that can go on. Take it out to the maximum height. It removes this support, the upper support. As you can see, it's wiggling. Anyway, if you lift it off, there is this like uh, mechanism in here in which it's kind of slide in this part in here, in this plastic part. So let's take it off. There is this hole that you can put on this key and just place it as you take it off. And as you can see now, it's off in this way. It's quite easy to put it back, quite easy to the maximum. It's out. It's quite easy. Now we can put this part back. You just need to slide this part in here where there is a plastic. Okay, now it's on it. We're good to go. Now we talked about everything pretty much. Talked about the seat going backward, forward. We talked about... Um, now what I like about this chair is the range of movement. Like you feel yourself, like you, you have a good range of movement. It moves fast, it's light. Like it's really a quite ergonomic chair. Mm, I have no complaints about it. It's my first ergonomic chair and I quite like it. Also, without the head raised, I need to note something that there is this hard plastic part. As you can see, when I lean backward, it gets in this uh, in my head and it's quite hard. So as you can see, it's really quite annoying, guys. Much more annoying than the head raised getting in your head. Still, I try just to avoid getting it to that point. It's quite ridiculous that I paid so much for, for a chair and it's still not satisfying me. Like, I wanted to get the M-Body instead, but it's quite more expensive and I just wanted to a good chair. And the Ventum isn't really cheap. It's almost a thousand hundred euros that I got it for. In my opinion, I'm going to check it out before deciding whether I'm going to keep it or not. And I just wanted to give out my thoughts about it, my initial thoughts. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. And I thank you for watching this video. And I wanted to be as much as natural about making this video. I never revealed myself before. And it's going to be the first time that you, you guys see me in person. Yeah, so thanks for watching and... Uh, See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.